Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2020 video tutorial. I want to do that screw strap exercise in AutoCAD. It was really a tough one. And it's kind of strange. Every time I do it, I will get different results or let's say different problems. So let's hope the video goes well and let's have fun with AutoCAD. Okay, let's switch to our sketches layer and start with a sketch on the XY plane. So go for the top view, go for a polyline. This one should start at maybe activate those constraints. They might help. 0, 0, and then go in that direction, 20, up, 14.5, over there, 12.5, and down, 7.5. Let's hide those constraints. And I want to have a fillet. Radius should be 5. Right here. And again, hide those constraints. Now let's go to surfaces and make a revolve with this polyline. And it should be revolved around zero zero and just snap in that direction and make it 360 degrees so let's see how we can turn it so it might do those surfaces in that direction. Okay. Now let's put this one onto a different layer and hide the layer. Let's go for the top view. I need a line, not a polyline, so go for a line and maybe go for wireframe like this okay now a line which starts at zero zero goes straight up 7.5 goes over there 45 goes down 7.5 I want to move these elements, that line, this one, and that one. Base point should be the midpoint of that line. And this should go to hashtag zero column 29.9. Okay. Now I want to make an extrude, surface extrude, with just that line. Enter, and maybe in that direction it should go 42.5. Then I want to, of course, hide those constraints. And I want to move that surface I just select it, home, go for move, and I want to go in that direction, eighty two point five. Okay.
let's put this one onto that layer and maybe switch to realistic okay let's go to the top view and I want to mirror this one onto the other side so let's go for where's the mirror command there it is a mirror but not a 3d mirror there should be a 2d mirror as well there you go and I want to mirror that polyline right click Zero, zero should be here and go straight up. Okay, hide those, and I need a line which. goes from this point over there to that point another extrude now with that line surface extrude with this one right click enter and that should have a length of 30 and let's put this one on a different layer as well so go for the same layer like this now I want to do a loft right click join multiple edges select this edge right click right click join multiple edges select this one right click right click enter and make the continuity g0 g0 let's join those by union this one that one and this one enter and some fillets fillet edge right click radius 15 on this edge the preview doesn't look well but let's just yeah that's okay repeat with that edge nice I will need an offset surface to this one or maybe I do it with an offset because I cannot use that surface or I could yeah let's do an offset with to this one go for offset that surface right click in that direction is okay seven put those two onto a different layer maybe on this one great let's hide that grid and I will need the edges of this one so maybe put that one for the moment on to layer zero and hide that layer zero i want to extract those edges so go for home extract press control and select edge edge this one 
that one and this one. And same on the other side. Control, select, select, select all those edges once again. Now I want to join those elements. So go for surface, curves, and join. And I could hide this one, so it's easy to select. Enter, so that's one element. Repeat and select those as well. Okay, nice. Now I want to do sweeps, but only with the arc and that line, arc and line. So we'll use the origin command here and So these elements are available. Let's go for a surface sweep and select that line and that arc. Right click, enter, and maybe I should not align them. So go for alignment, no, because it's already in the right position. And select that path. Okay, repeat that command. Go over here, right click again, no alignment, and select that path as well. Now let's make unions, union between this face and that face. And the same on the other side. And put those two onto a different layer. Okay, now I want to do a loft. Therefore, we'll need another line because I could use that. This should be, no, I cannot use that line, I need a new line. So, I don't need this anymore, but I could put this onto layer 0 and hide it. And this, okay, let's go to our line tool and I want have a line from that end point, but that should be the end point of that edge here. This one. And go to the end point of that edge here. Okay. Same up there. Another line from end point to Endpoint. And now I can do a loft. Go for surface loft. Right click, join multiple edges, select this edge. Is it selected or not? No. Now it's selected. Right click, right click. Try multiple edges, select that edge, right click, right click, enter, go for guides. This will be one guide, and that line will be the second guide. 
enter okay so that surface is different to the original one to that one it's not the same so what I want to do is to make an offset surface of that one so go to offset select that face right click and make it 7 and that didn't work that's amazing operation failed so I will have to use the original offset surface okay now I could do a union make a union here there and over there continue this operation and I need a sketch on the right now X set so let's hide that surface and rotate the axis system around the x-axis by 90 degrees the default then I want to draw a rectangle go for home go for let's make this bottom Go for a rectangle and that should start at zero zero and it would be 12 by let's say 40. it seems that release is very buggy i can't move this rectangle to the position i want it to be so i will delete it you can try maybe you can move it but first I need to extract an edge of the original surface of this one. Let's switch that to conceptual and then you could select the mid or that extract. Extract, press control and extract just that edge. Hide the surface. and I couldn't move the rectangle up there so I will do it in a different way so let's go to top and draw a rectangle start at the midpoint of that edge it should be 12 column minus 40 and now I want to move it right click from this in that direction by 6 so it should be centered I wasn't able to do it in a different way I couldn't move it to the point usually you can but it didn't work okay now I want to make an extrude with that rectangle so go for surfaces extrude select that rectangle right click enter and make it in that direction make it let's say 40 Now I could move it a little bit up or it, yeah, let's move it a little bit in that direction. So go to the left view and just go to home, move selected, right click and move it just a little bit, yeah, in this direction, just a little bit and don't snap so where to go and it's up there just a little bit maybe like this okay now let's show our surfaces and we could start to trim so let's show the orange one and the blue one no, not the orange one, just the blue one. And there is one, this one. I need that one. Because you cannot offset this surface. Now let's go for a trim. Surfaces, trim. I want to trim that surface. 
with this surface and that surface and I want to remove this area and that area great let's switch to realistic okay now I want to trim this surface so go for another trim that surface right click enter with this one and I want to remove the outside like this enter and again let's trim this one right click enter with that one right click and I want to remove the inside here great now let's put that surface onto a different layer maybe on the same as this one okay so far so good okay so let's show our revolve nope I just wanted to turn it on and I wanted to stay on my sketches layer like this okay so let's see what we can trim first let's trim these so go for trim I want to trim this one and that one right click enter with that surface right click and select this face and that face looks good enter okay let's make a union go for solid union select this surface that one and this one right click continue and now let's try to trim the green one with the blue one go to surface trim the green one right click enter with the blue one enter and select that area to trim yeah that worked at least something worked so in order to trim this I want to extract that edge so go for home extract edges and select this edge go for control here no I just wanted to extract just that edge right here okay and now trim this surface right click enter with that arc enter and I want to remove this great another step done so in order to proceed I will separate those faces with the origin command so go to home go to origin select that surface right click and now I could select those separate faces so let's go for another trim trim I want to trim this face right click enter with that line right click enter and I want to remove this side great now another trim this face and that face right click enter and now use that one as trim tool and select 
face and face and this looks good and another problem arose I cannot make a union between those faces so I will delete this face or region and that face or region and let's patch this so go for surface patch select this edge how to select now it's selected enter continuity should be zero okay and same up here another patch select edge 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 and edge enter enter okay and now i can make a union solid union between this face that one and this one another step this is really hard to do so maybe hide our sketches and turn to a different layer hide layer zero hide layer sketches now for the fillets it might work it might not maybe you have or i have to go for one half on the mirror let's try we will see if it works okay let's see edge fillet right click radius 4 select this edge and that edge okay repeat go for select chain and select this chain this might not work Oh, it worked but not quite see that's no good so I will undo that it depends where you select the edge somehow so go for another fillet edge radius should be four yes go for a chain and select it here in the middle and enter enter this looks good now another edge fillet go for a radius of five again go for a chain just in case select this edge enter enter you're still there is this doesn't look too good the last fillet radius should be four right click go for a chain and select that edge here enter enter didn't work so try once more Or maybe just split it and mirror it. But right now this looks better than before, so I don't have to split it. So let's try once more. Fill it edge, go for a chain, radius four, and select it maybe here in the middle. Enter. so see this went wrong again and therefore I want to split this one so let's take a look I need a line on so go for the top view and maybe 
change back to our world coordinate system just in case. So I need a line which goes in that direction. Okay. So go for a line. Start here at the center. Yeah. Draw it in that direction, maybe like this. like that okay now to make an extrude with that line I would have to change my axis system and rotate it around the x-axis now I should be able to make a surface extrude with that line surface extrude with that line right click enter in that direction Okay, and now I want to trim the complete surface with that one. So go for a trim. I want to trim this one, right click, enter with that one. Right click and I want to remove this side because that's the faulty side. Okay, put that surface onto the layer zero which is hidden. I know. Let's do a fillet right here. Let's try to do a fillet right here. So go for home, no solid, edge fillet, right click chain, right click radius 4, and see if we can make a fillet here. Takes a while, and it worked. So now I can mirror that. Go for home 3D mirror. Select the surface, right click, and the plane would be this point. <laughs> That's really awkward. Go for endpoint and go for another endpoint. Nope. And I'm almost done. Make a union. Let's add another last fillet. Radius should be 5. Right here at the bottom. If possible, select that edge. OK. And I'm really done. So hope you enjoyed this one because it was really hard work. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more AutoCAD surface modeling, I really don't hope so. <laughs> then give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to next one. Bye bye.